Good morning there friend. Do you want to go and play in the snow? Oh, ho, ho, Barbara. Maybe it's time to go and play in the snow. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh my god. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. You want to go and play in all that snow? Oh, ho, ho. Okay then. Since you asked nice. Snow dog. Look at that. He's a snow dog. Man, his colours really come out when you see him cast against the snow. Yeah, he's beautiful. Right, let me get my shoes. We've got sliders in the snow. Sliders at all times of the year. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, it's cold. Look at this. Oh. So as you can see, it's been snowing heavily overnight and it's still going. We've got to get a flight to London in, uh, I'd say about an hour, an hour and a half and it's looking pretty bleak so here's hoping nothing's cancelled we're going down to london for two days well we're back tomorrow night it's tuesday just now we're back on wednesday night uh we've got a couple of meetings and we have an event with benefit and a night out with benefit as well so we're very excited but here's hoping we can make it oh look at the birds you can hardly see them wow looking up into this snowy film is not a good idea <clears throat> Me and Jack, Jack and I just got to London. So quick update, Jack's already told you that we were coming down here. Um, I thought I would just update you guys on our journey home. Our journey home from Sri Lanka was long but good. We have literally had one hour to connect for our last flight home. We managed to get that. Um, got to Glasgow, my case never showed up. Neither did my mum's and we had one other possession that was lost. Those things were dropped off to us literally the same day so it was fine. British Airways did really good with that. And then we got home, I think it was like Sunday morning at half ten in the morning and we had a chill day. I had like my bath, I was like having a big bath, wash my hair, doing my stuff getting all clean and nice so we did all that and then yesterday was monday what did i do i worked all day all day i was just on my computer catching up on loads of emails loads of admin loads of stuff that i'd forgotten that i had to get done when i got home because i was on holiday i was on holiday mode wedding stuff we have organised days to go back to Italy to do like our food tasting and stuff like that. I know that I've not really talked about the wedding with you guys that much, which I'm planning on doing. I just really don't know how to do it. If any of you guys have watched any really good blogging wedding video updates, then please forward me them so I know what you're meant to talk about. I literally don't know what don't know what to say. Got up this morning. I caught a cold on the like last full day of being in Sri Lanka and I'm still just kind of getting over it and um, it was horrible it was a weird cold my nose was just like crying my nose was crying a lot my wee eyes were sad and sore I was sneezing non-stop I just felt really shit so we got home still had a cold been sleeping loads and then we got our flight this morning because we were down you can see behind me there's like takeaway food it's not actually got food in it though I've got it we're getting that later though um so we're down for an event with benefit I've actually also got loads of meetings while we're down here so I probably won't be filming that much um loads of secret meetings uh one of which which I will just tell you is I am watching me and Jack are both watching the edit of the documentary. <laughs> we are getting to see it before it's completely finished just in case there are parts that are cut funny that I don't know I think we're just basically getting to kind of proof watch it. I don't think we're actually allowed to make many changes I think that we're just gonna have to go with whatever it is but if there's any information that I've said that's been that's wrong or stuff like that who knows. Who knows? We're watching it tomorrow though I've got exciting meetings, exciting phone calls, <laughs> January. <laughs> it is the start of the year so that is all from me just now. I know that's super boring. We we're excited. I've got all my stuff hanging up to get ready later. Um, I think I need to go downstairs in about half an hour to meet with my manager to go through some stuff. Let me just show you the room. Oh, 
we have Welcome Jimmy and Jack, thank you very much. And it's to celebrate the new roller liner which I've actually been using already, I've been using it when I was on holiday and it's brilliant. So we're here and because you call your liner your wings, Benefit have got their chicken shop, they've got a chicken shop opening up. So here in here is, yeah this is what I meant, do you know what? this looks like a nugget box but there's no nuggets in it. These are the roller liners, this is perfect because I actually left my one of these in Sri Lanka. So we've got that, oh cool I didn't know about that one, I've not got that yet. There's the eye bright pencil, nice. And then we've got a black and a brown, interested about the brown as well, I'm excited to try this. And then again, thought this was going to have chicken in it. Empty! <laughs> Maybe we'll fill it up later, I need to smooth this back out actually, that's really bad. And then we've got these cups as well, just wing it. So what I'm going to do is put some of my gin in there. Hey. Can I go in there or no? Yeah, of course. I was just washing my hands. You were just washing your hands? Yep. Gin and rose lemonade. Nice. So we've got four. Two each, Jack. We can put them in our chicken cups. This is the Red Church. Is it Red Church? Yeah. Red, Red Church. Church Hotel. Huge big bed. It seems really comfy, actually. Yeah. Um, really Wash. cute. Straight uh, Right in shore ditch. Box Park's just around the corner. Box Park's just there. Jack's obsessed with Box Park. It's so good. We do they yet? Do you remember that? Yeah, the, the salad bowls. Vegan kebabs. The vegan kebab salad bowl. So there's Shoreditch right out there. Loads of windows. And look how much space we've got. Jack's just sitting on the city. That's rude. Get your feet off the table. Good job. Hello everyone, we're back home. We had a really really fun time down in London. We went to the benefit event and then we went out and me and Drake danced too much and we felt not very good the next day. We just can't say no, it was the first big event of the year down in London and it was just too much fun. It was the first time seeing loads of my pals down there for ages. So we had a bloody great time, let's just say that. And then the next day we had back to back meetings. So not only did we not feel great, we also pretended we felt absolutely fine all day. Meetings were all very exciting. Uh, we also saw 40 minutes of the edited documentary. I was really nervous. I have been nervous this whole time. Uh, six months of doing this, more than that now actually, and it's just been a bit scary. It's just been a wee bit scary. We didn't really know what was going on. We didn't know what it was going to end up like. You had no control over it, like what was getting filmed and, and what days they wanted to film and stuff like that. Anyway, all of that aside, uh, we really liked it. We really liked it. Um, it finished and I was like, what happened? And they were like, well that, that's it. That's like the 40 minutes that we've done. And I was like, I want, I want to watch more. <laughs> I want to watch more. It was, like a really, it was a really fun recap. I'm just in town now. I've got fifth, um, 10 minutes before my appointment. Look what I did. This is really naughty and I really hope that none of the girls watch this, but I ripped them all off when I got in from our night out. I literally was like that. <laughs> so my nails need done. So I'm doing that today. I'm going to film it for an Instagram video. Me and Jack just had a really lazy morning. It was perfect. We watched Inception. It was great. Billie Eilish's new song is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love her. I really love her. I, really, I want her to be my friend. So. That's what's happening today. It's Thursday. It's a beautiful day. It's freezing. It's zero degrees. I've only worn a jumper. That was really stupid. And I actually need to walk a couple of blocks down. A couple of blocks. Who am I? A couple of streets. I need to walk a couple of streets down to go and get my nails done. But that's what we're going to do just now. And then me and Jack need to get something tasty for our dinner. And then I'm probably going to have another early night. We woke up at six in the morning again this morning. Like we've had jet lag. So we're both a bit tired. I'm finally over my cold. I don't feel bad anymore. Still got a wee bit of run runny nose, but that's fine. That's it home for a week-ish. I need to go back down to London next week for more work. Um, but that's us home for the rest of the week. And we just need to work. I've got some really exciting stuff happening very flipping soon. Yeah, I was trying out stuff this morning. Anyway, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that. Anyway, 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 let's go and get nails done.
morning. We're in the car. I'm dropping Jack off. <coughs> Wait, pause it. I'm so cold. <gasps> Welcome to the inside of an ice cube. <laughs> it's minus five. Minus five. Minus five. <laughs> Wait, minus five? Yeah, minus five. Jeez, uh, we just got to the car. I'm dropping Jack off at his gym and then I'm picking up Cara and we're going to PT. Look at this, open, open that. I can't open it. This is my coffee, right? I brought in a mug of coffee and I put it in there, right? So that's fine. But that's I thought I was going to put it in here. Look at that, it's frozen solid. <gasps> What's <laughs> no? You got it on the camera! <laughs> Jack! Geronimo. Oh my god, there's coffee everywhere. I'm quite stressed as well. Right, I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, that's working. That's working. Look, we're getting somewhere. Uh, we might be late because the car, I forgot you have to wait for a car to defrost. The windows, will they go down? No. There's actually coffee all over the camera. Is there anything I can wipe the windows with? Don't use my bank card, use a, like, a nondescript card. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. That's gonna be really cold in his hands. I can't believe that there's coffee everywhere. Oh, no, Jack, you just threw it! Where is it? Yeah. You just threw my flipping driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put it in my I can't feel my hand. I can't feel my hand. Put it in my purse. I can't feel my hand. Numb. Numb. Like your fucking brain. <laughs> everyone I'm just tying my hair up this is my new thing I wash my hair and then I put all my oils in it these ones you know Davines oil stuff dry my hair with a GHD not sponsored I just like them and I am sometimes sponsored by them get that money hello what are you doing oh. <laughs> it's not gonna be bad what are you doing job has been the biggest sook Aren't you? Do you just love love? Because you're my wee kiss. Okay, don't. Whatever. Jobber doesn't like any kind of gadget, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Using my silk pillowcase. They, they have bobbles as well. This is what I like to do. L'Oreal sent me their new shampoo and conditioner to try with my new silver hair, plat platinum hair. They asked me to try it in the hopes of working together and I actually think it's worked. Look at that. Bright shiny, clear, so I think it's pretty good. I just put it on, I shampooed it up, foamed it up, and then left it for five minutes, and then used their conditioner. My hair feels nice, it needs, it needs straight, and my hair goes quite frizzy. We went to the gym, I didn't film that much of the gym because I was pretty bad at it today. Um, that's my first time back at PT since before I went to Sri Lanka, and even before that, I think I missed the last week, I think I was too busy or something, I can't remember. So it was my first session back in a little while. It was good, but I was very I wasn't very good, if you know what I mean. I've lost quite a lot of my strength. This is the only thing that annoys me is see when you stop doing it, you get deteriorate rapidly. It was good, it was good to be back though. Then me and Cara went for brunch. Cara's getting married, right? She got engaged. She's asked me to be a bridesmaid, and Cara is having baby number two. So we've got Ruby, little Rubster, who's part of the family, and Cara is pregnant with her second child. So it's all super exciting. Just so excited, so excited for Cara. Um, so we went for brunch, caught up on loads of stuff, then came home, my skincare video went up today, which is great. Obviously, I'm still using all my stuff. I literally got it all right here. Yeah, everyone needs to go and watch Sex Education on Netflix because it's really enjoyable. Oh, I'm on the last episode. Goodness sake, it's enjoyable, it's easy to watch, which I am a fan of. Um, and that's pretty much it for today. We've done good. We've been working, organising, booking things. And in. yeah, it's just been a busy day. What's tomorrow? Saturday. I don't know what we're gonna do. I really, there's like a bit, I, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll write a list of stuff that needs to get done and do it. I'm living in chaos yet again. This room is a shit tip. So I need to, I need to fix it. Good morning, oh my God. Look at that happy dog, oh my God. <laughs> happy Saturday. I am at home, Jack's away at the gym I think. I woke up and he was gone. I hope he comes home. 
no way about <laughs> today is saturday it's the start of the weekend and i slept for 12 hours last night me and jack have been sleeping a lot since we got home from sri lanka um i just think we're catching up on sleep and i think our bodies must need it we were both starting to get a bit sick but we're both kind of like better now kind of still fighting it off i've still got a bit of a runny nose and stuff this is disgusting today i'm going to be cleaning i'm going to be tidying and cleaning because it's been ages yeah i totally understand why people spring clean because i just have this urge i have this urge to purge my makeup room is a tip again things have happened very very quickly it's actually not that bad i'll be able to do it today no problem so What's on the agenda today is, I actually don't need to film today, I'm going to film tomorrow instead. But what my plan is, is I'm going to tidy up all my makeup room, put everything away that I've got sitting out. I've opened up some PR and stuff that I need to put away. I've got stuff still from my holidays that are, is just kind of lying about. And what I would like to do is actually repack my travel. Oh hi, you wondering what's going on in here? Nothing, unless you want to help me clean. What I would really like to do is repack my travel necessities because what i usually do is i've always got a bag that's got a hair bag and then my skincare i actually just keep it a, a bag anyway because i can just grab it and go so that's what i'd like to do today i want to clean up all my makeup room get it all nice and ship shape i have products on my desk all ready for a video i'm going to do a full face of first impressions loads of stuff i've never tried before so we're going to do that so that's the plan in here the living room and the bathroom are actually great i just need to do a wee tidy day i'd like to like slimline the bathroom we've got a lot of products in here but on the bath obviously there's just stuff dotted about all over the place this is literally the best thing i've ever bought i got this on amazon this like shower bath caddy or whatever but every single time i have a bath i put my laptop here i literally ate my dinner in the bath last night actually it was very good so i wanted to just tidy this up and then living room's actually all right i've got some stuff here that needs to get put away living room looks nice i just need to sort the blankets out i was watching sex education this morning with my coffee it was very great finished it i actually really really liked it um so yeah tied up the blankets me and jack literally every single night if we're chilling out we curl up on this couch and we've got so many blankets we've also got like a basket of blankets over there we just love it we love getting cozy on the couch so i need to clean all the blankets up the dining room kind of place is a mess i've just got loads of like pr and jackets that need hung up and it's just a bit of a mess and then this is actually from when I went to London and the carpet is literally covered in dog hair because Drogba sheds so much don't you? I'm surprised you've got any fur left buddy. You're so worth it though. You're so worth it. Aww. So that's the plan. It's actually beautiful today. It's freezing cold but it's beautiful. Look at outside. We've got snow. The snow has literally been here forever but it's like a beautiful day. And another thing I want to do today is clean my laptop up it's full of memory for one thing um i actually think i need to go to the apple shop because it's playing up quite a lot but i feel like if i just reset it it could actually make it work again so i'm going to watch my program tidy up in here tidy up everywhere and then clean up my laptop and then that means that tomorrow when i wake up everything's going to be tidy everything's going to be clean i'm going to be ready to film it's going to be excellent only bloody gone and done it we have a tidy room tidy tidy set up for filming batteries charging i'm gonna blow that candle out but first we're gonna water some plants here you go in here drop is wondering what's going on too i'm looking after my family drop it oh loads of nice water there we go watered and this fern over here let's blow this candle out big drink of water there we go, nice. Good job, Droba. Let's go, let's go. I'm not coming in here for the rest of the day, so I'm gonna turn, turn her off, put her to bed. Time to go to sleep. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, that good? Oh, you're making some yellow snow? Nice. Moron. 
mor on a lap, mor on a lap, mor on a lap, mor on a lap. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. Um, and this is the hotel we're staying at, the Red Church Hotel. Why is this camera such a little shit? And I feel, oh my god, look how crazy I look today. What on earth is happening? What's wrong with you? There's coffee everywhere. I spilled, I brought in a mug of coffee. I'm stressed because I'm in an ice cube. 